We've established that carbon management can be mandatory. But if an organisation is not legally required by government to reduce its emissions, is there a business case for voluntary carbon management? Aside from compliance reasons, there are many other important drivers as to why an organisation should engage in carbon management. These include rising energy costs, brand reputation, energy security risk, anticipated government regulations, and investor, staff and customer expectations. In response to these drivers, there is a growing trend in organisations measuring, reporting and reducing their emissions voluntarily because there are multiple benefits above and beyond compliance. These include improved organisational efficiency and cost savings, competitive advantage such as through new low carbon products and services, enhanced corporate social responsibility and brand, stronger stakeholder relationships, risk management and better governance, and leveraging climate finance. There exists a myth that carbon management is economically damaging to companies. Most carbon abatement projects do require financial investment, but just like buying shares or a house, investing money in these projects is often financially beneficial. Importantly, many companies around the world and in all sectors of the economy are reducing emissions while achieving significant savings and improved efficiency through areas such as energy and waste reduction and lower fuel use. Take the Dow Chemical Company for instance. The organisation identified that waste repurposing could reduce its annual waste by 70,000 tonnes and its greenhouse gas emissions by 49,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalent per year. These reductions translate into cost savings of 15 million US dollars per year. From an ethical perspective, carbon management is important to corporate social responsibility, or CSR. CSR is the responsibility of an organisation for the impacts of its decisions and activities on society and the environment. Actively mitigating these impacts through carbon management should be a priority in any organisation's CSR policy if it is to maintain its social licence to operate. By demonstrating a commitment to carbon management and CSR, an organisation can also enhance its brand, public image and therefore marketability. Carbon offsets are commonly used by organisations for this purpose. The term offsetting means a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions in one place to compensate for greenhouse gases emitted elsewhere. Offsets come from a range of projects such as tree planting and wind farms. Importantly, one offset is equal to one tonne of carbon dioxide equivalent, sequestered or avoided. For example, let's say a farm undertakes a reforestation project that draws down 500 tonnes of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere per year. This would generate 500 carbon offsets each year. The farm then sells these to a paper manufacturer at an agreed price, allowing the paper manufacturer to offset its emissions for that year by 500 tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalent. The paper manufacturer may choose to go further and become carbon neutral, meaning the company releases net zero emissions into the atmosphere by reducing emissions and buying offsets for those that can't. Internally, a commitment to carbon management can help an organisation attract and retain staff through improved job satisfaction. This is particularly true of the emerging workforce. The 2015 Cone Millennial CSR study found that over 80% of 13 to 24 year olds consider CSR an important factor when deciding where to work. Externally, Customers and investors also increasingly expect companies to disclose their carbon management performance. Walmart, for example, requested greenhouse gas emissions data from 100,000 suppliers in 2009. Another benefit of carbon management is risk management. In terms of regulatory risk, most organisations are likely to face carbon constraining regulation in the future. Early action can reduce the financial burden of future compliance. Furthermore, the improved resource efficiency achieved through carbon management helps buffer organisations from energy and commodity price volatility. Finally, by engaging in carbon management, 
organisations are better positioned to leverage direct climate finance opportunities. This funding can be used to support the adoption of low emissions technologies and practices. These drivers demonstrate that there is a case to be made for organisations to voluntarily commit to carbon management. And the benefits also apply to companies that have a mandated obligation to manage their emissions under climate change policy.